Avira might be one of the best free antivirus softwares out there. But what's the real difference between Avira free versus premium? Well, hey, don't worry. I've done all the research to tell you if the free plan is even worth considering. Hey, it's Mike from cybernews.com. Today, let's take a look at the most important pros and cons of Avira free versus premium. But first, let's go ahead and talk about Avira in general. Is Avira even safe? Yeah, it is. From the start of its popularity in the early 2000s, Avira has won multiple awards and gained recognition in the cybersecurity space, including the AV Product of the Year Award, 2008, and first place in the Real World Protection Test, 2010. Of course, we have done multiple Avira antivirus test runs over the years, and Avira always showed us promising results. So let's go ahead and just get right into the main comparison part. Surprisingly, Avira might just have one of the best free antivirus versions currently on the market. Avira Free and Premium both use the same malware database, so you get the same top tier protection regardless of whether you pay or not. The free version also packs in real-time protection, virus scanning, a file shredder, and a safe shopping plugin for your browser. And a major thing for Avira's free version is the included free VPN. Now, as you might expect, it's extremely limited, around 500 megabytes of bandwidth a month. But you know, it's free, so at least that's something. In general, Avira free antivirus will be great for users who just need something simple. But yeah, it definitely lacks some of the more, uh, I don't know, life improving convenient features out there. Avira Antivirus Pro includes web protection and ransomware protection. And yeah, these two are essential features, especially if you don't always follow safe surfing advice, which uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we all kind of do from time to time. Ouch, mm, self burn. And ransomware protection is becoming more and more necessary. I mean, during the quarantine, these types of attacks increased a lot and they became even more elaborate than ever with ransomware itself now becoming a booming industry for cyber criminals. So if you decide to update to Avira Prime, you can also unleash the full force of Avira VPN, get breach scanning and support for mobile devices. So when it comes to pricing in this short Avira review, I think Avira Prime packs in the most bang for your buck and it's good for just about any type of internet user. And when it comes to the best antivirus for PC, one of the main jobs of any good antivirus is to not tax your system. I mean, we don't want to slow down our work just because of a scan, right? So let's look at the latest Avira free antivirus test. Well, the good news is that both free and premium versions are optimized to run smoothly on Windows and Mac. With the malware detection, in my previous Avira review 2022, it found the same amount eight out of 10 malicious files that I placed on my computer. While not perfect, still a great result. And in my testing with Windows Defender, which detected a whopping zero threats, oh yeah, it's a much more secure option. Okay, we've talked about what you get with the free version, so let's consider how much you need to spend on this upgrade. But first, if you're considering that, well, I've got the best deals down in the description for you ready to check out, which I guess you should do at the end of this video so I get your full attention. <laughs> okay, for a year of Avira Antivirus Pro, you currently pay around 30 bucks, which gets you protection for one device. You can up the device limit to five, and if you go for a longer period, you can save even more. And it's not an unheard of price for a top tier antivirus provider, sitting comfortably in the middle of, you know, between cheap and overpriced, right in the middle. If you need extra protection for your computers, Android and or iOS, well, you're gonna need to check out Avira Prime. It's not the cheapest plan out there, but you do get their ultimate VPN and protection for up to 25 devices. It's a perfect package for family security. And when it comes to ease of use, Avira Free Antivirus and Avira Pro Antivirus are more or less about the same. That is to say, well, they're great. I can easily navigate and quickly find the needed features or start a malware scan. You can also get Avira for your Mac, and this version does look slightly different, placing more features on the menu. For mobile protection, you can get the same basic security features and malware detection as their desktop app. Sure, these versions are a bit more limited, but it's easy to use and it allows you to clean as well as optimize your mobile device. Overall, using any version of Avira should be smooth sailing, even for complete beginners. All right, so to wrap up this Avira premium versus free comparison and answer the question, is Avira free good? Yeah, 
It is. In fact, it might just be the best free antivirus for Windows 11 with enough basic protection for most users' needs. The extra ransomware and web protection make Avira Premium worth it for everyone else. Now, if that's you, I would click that box on screen to check the best deals. Okay, now before you leave, what are you currently using as the best antivirus for Windows 11? And does Avira Premium sound like a good investment to you? Let's have a chat in the comments. All right, we're done here. I'm gonna see you in the next one.